Wanja, our last two speakers, and then we hear from a representative of the affected families, who is also actually a victim of brutality. John Mukoya, kindly. Gaucho, please come up. Your Excellency, the first President of the Republic of Kenya, Mwishimo Uru Kenyatta, Your Excellency, our President, Raila Molo Odinga, Your Excellency, Kalonzo Msioka, and all the other Excellencies and MPs and MCS, I greet you all in the name of God and in the name of those who have died. My name is John Wanguba Mkoya. I stand here on behalf of the young people who have been killed in this country, I stand here on behalf of Kalasinga, the one you have seen who was shot just after he said that he was going to demonstrate because Baba had called for us to go and demonstrate and he was going to demonstrate because the cost of living was on a high level. I stand here on the behalf of the young youths who are in prison, even as we talk today, who are being jailed, not because that they did any mistake, they are being jailed just because they went outside to demonstrate, they went outside to assemble, and there is something that I read in this country, and I read the constitution. If I believe in the constitution, I read somewhere, there's freedom to assemble, there's freedom to picket, there is freedom to actually demonstrate. But these young youths are being held in prison. These young youths are being killed, not because of anything. They are being killed because they asked that the food was high. Because they asked that they are sleeping hungry. Because they asked that their justice has to be delivered. That is why that William Ruto ensured that his goons, who are the police in name, killed these young youths. That is why we are here. Your Excellencies, I stand here as a leader. I stand here as a young man. I stand here as a young man who has been in this country, who Baba Raila Molodinga, who Mweshimua Uru Kenyatta, you told us that this country has democracy. But this country today is being led by hypocrisy. There is no democracy, but we are being led by hypocrisy. A president who goes on a vehicle and announces and actually pampers the police for killing the citizens, the same citizens that is leading. That is not a president, but that is a goon. Don't refer to us as goons as you have done. We are not goons. The young youths of Sadia are not goons. They are youths who are in this country who have ensured they have a life but you cannot refer to the young people who have gotten outside to demonstrate and to ensure that their rights have been done. You are telling them they are youths. We are not youths Mr. President and your day is going to come. One day you are going to pay for the blood of Kenyans for the young youths here that are, are sitting here. Mr. President, I want to ask you, I have seen a child here who is seven years or six years. You have said that your child is also a, a goon. Where was that child demonstrating? What are you trying to plant in that child? When that child grows up, he will have scars of, a, of, a, of, of actually a, a tear gas. That child will wake up one day and that child will show the Kenyan people that you tear gassed him when he was young. Mr. President, Mr. President, I want to tell you today, as we stand here, you are going to hand us down, you are going to kill us the young people, but we are telling you, you are not going to kill the spirit. The spirit that we have is not going to die. We are going to stand with that spirit to ensure that what Baba Raila Molo Odinga started, what Mweshimua Uru Kenyatta left, this young, young youth president, this young youth Mr. Ruto, they don't need to be killed, they need jobs. Mweshimua Uru Kenyatta left Kazi Kovijana. Can you give these young people jobs? They are not going to demonstrate. Can you give them jobs? They are going not to demonstrate. Can you ensure that life is cheap? They are not going to demonstrate. On those few remarks for the young people outside there, for the young people in this country who believe in Raila Molodinga, who believe in Uru Kenyatta, I call unto you and I tell you Baba, we are not ready for negotiation Baba. Our blood has shed. We are ready to go outside Baba. We are ready to go outside Baba. That they are going to kill us. We are going to be ready to be killed, Baba. Let him kill all of us, but this country must be liberated. Viva young people, viva! Viva young people, viva! Asante ni sana.